Now, there are many Democrat candidates who are switching to a pro-police message ahead of the midterms. Watch this. Tim Ryan knows defunding the police is ridiculous. He's brought back $467 million to put good cops on the street. I trust Tim Ryan to keep our communities safe. When I hear people talking about defunding the police, I know they're wrong. Police officers put their lives on the line every day to keep us safe, but it's our job to make sure they have what they need to do it. And that's a job I take personally. In the Senate, I'll protect Florida from bad ideas, like defunding the police. That's just crazy. Well, that is quite a turnaround, isn't it? <laughs> Congresswoman Nancy Mace is a Republican from South Carolina and joins me now in New York City. They're ditching the defund the police message. Will voters buy the switch? Five weeks out from a general election, I highly doubt it. And Democrats sound like Republicans from 2020, but you cannot rewrite history or rewrite the narrative. If you were aligned with Black Lives Matter, you were aligned with organizations that want to defund the police, including my opponent in the general election. These are extreme views. These are views that the majority of Americans, Republican or Democrat, jo just are not a part of. But over the last two or three years, crime is up, murders up 40 percent nationally. I mean, crime up in every city, small and big, is up enormously over the last two years. You can't just vault over that, can you? Right. You, you can't just walk right past it and say, oh, that was a bad idea. Try this one. Right. That doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. And it's quite frankly, it's dishonest. And they're trying to make a pivot because crime is an issue that Republicans once again are running on. It looks like, you know, Joe Biden, he's been on the wrong side of every single issue since his swearing in in 2021. And we are very strong on these issues. We support our police, whereas Democrats Democrats and the far left just have not over the last couple of years. Throughout the morning, we've been talking about the commitment to America. It's an agenda released this morning by the Republican Party. It's their tactic for winning in November. Can you give us a brief run? What's in the commitment to America? Well, we want to keep our, we want to make our economy stronger. Inflation is at record high. We have uh, employment issues, unemployment issues, getting businesses large and small, getting employees in the door. We have issues with crime. We want to keep our communities safe, and that includes immigration and the border and the fentanyl crisis. There were two, grill, two kilograms of fentanyl found and discovered in South Carolina just a few days ago. That could kill one million people out on the street. Um, we want to protect freedom and democracy, and also we want to ensure that there's accountability in the government. And and that's what the commitment to America is all about. And I want to thank Kevin McCarthy, Elise Stefanik, and, and Steve Scalise for their leadership in rolling this out. Are these specific proposals, or is it a general blanket? This is our strategy. These are the issues we're going at. It is our strategy, but also tactically. There are specific policy proposals that we're going to be rolling out in the weeks and months ahead. We've got to address the supply chain. That is another way to address the economy. You'll see comprehensive legislation rolling out of these bills. It's not enough to say the other side is bad. We have to be solution-driven in this is our step towards that direction. And if you win in November and retake the House, this is what you're going to do. This Commitment is what, to America. That's exactly. And folks, uh, your viewers can go to nancymace.org and read all about I that rollout will. today. They will. Nancy Mace, thanks for being with us, ma'am. Thank we appreciate you. Appreciate it.